Assalamu alaikum everyone my name is Sayyid Ahiba Bukhari i hope you are doing all well and uh, welcome to the channel the mat corner and today we will be discussing about the anatomical terms but related to the movement of body so let's begin first of all the question that came in my mind is what is a movement so the word movement in general means that it is a change in the position of a body part with respect to the whole body these movement are possible due to the musculoskeletal system of the body the movement take place at at the joint so what is a joint itself so a joint is a site where the two or more bone articulate with one another some joint have no movement at all for example if we take a look on the skull so the sutures of the skull have no movement at all while on some joint the slight movement are possible for example the vertebral column and some joints are termed as the freely movable joint because on these joint a variety of movement are possible for example the shoulder joint the hip joint now let's talk about the main topic which is the anatomical term used for the movement so let's begin with the word flexion so flexion is the movement around the joint in which the angle between the two joint is decreased or reduced for example if we take a close look in this diagram you guys can see if we stretch the arm forward so it is the flexion of shoulder joint if we bend the knee backward it is the flexion of the knee joint so it is decreasing the angle between the two joints now let's talk about the word extension extension is the opposite movement to the flexion it means that there is there would be an increase in the angle of joint for example if you stretch your arm backward it would be the extension of shoulder joint if you uh, stretch your knee from a bending position it would be the extension of the knee joint which would increase the angle between the two joint now the word abduction or abduction is used to indicate the movement away from the midline of the body as you guys can see in the diagram if you stretch your arm away from your body so it is called as a abduction while the word adduction is the movement toward the midline of the body now you pull your hand toward yourself so it would be the abduction of the shoulder now the next term is the circumduction circumduction is a complex sequence of movement combining the flexion extension abduction adduction and the rotation now the next term is rotation which is applied to the movement of part of body around its long axis rotation can be toward the midline of the body which is called as a medial or the internal rotation and can be away from the midline of the body which is called as lateral or the external rotation of the body now the next term are inversion and eversion these are the special term used to describe the certain movement of the foot inversion is turning the sole of foot so that the sole faces in the medial direction toward the midline and eversion is the opposite movement of the foot so that the sole faces in the lateral direction that is away from the midline of the body there are two more special term which is used to describe the movement of the foot these are the dorsiflexion and the plantar flexion the word dorsiflexion refer to lifting the top of foot superiorly as in standing on the heels of the foot the word plantar flexion refer to moving the sole of foot inferiorly as in standing on the toes of the foot only now let's talk about the movement which take place at the waist joint as you know that in the forearm there are two bone present the radius and the ulna the radius is toward the side of the thumb and the ulna is toward the side of the lady finger so the term radial deviation and the ulnar deviation are used respectively if you bend your wrist toward the side of your thumb it is called as a radial deviation and if you bend your wrist toward the side of your lady finger or the ulnar bone it is called as a ulnar deviation the flexion and the extension movement also take place on the waist joint flexion is decreasing the angle so if you bend your waist forward uh, it is called as a flexion and if you ex bend your waist backward it is called as a extension which increase the angle between the carpal bone and the radius and ulna bone the flexion and the extension movement are also possible at the fingers for example if you want to grab or hold something it is called as a flexion of the finger and if you open your hands wide longer it is called as a extension of the fingers 
now the last term which i used for the west is the pronation and the supination the word pronation is returning the forearm medially in such a manner that the palm of your hand faces posteriorly and supination is turning the forearm laterally from the pronated position so that the palm of your hand come to your face anteriorly now the next term is a protraction and a retraction the word protraction is used to describe the movement of a body part forward for example if you bend your shoulder forward it is called as a protraction while the term retraction is refers to the movement of a body part backward for example if you stretch your chest by stretching your shoulder backward it is called as a retraction of scapula now the last term for this video is the elevation and the depression the term elevation is used to pull something upward the term depression is used to pull something downward due to the elevation and the depression of mandible the chewing is done so guys that's all about today i hope you guys like the video if you do so then make sure to like and subscribe to the mat corner see you in the next video take care bye bye allah hafiz